Have you ever felt bored, restless, or a deep sense of kind of being unfulfilled with life? We're the Swaffords, and we just want to kind of talk to you about a few of those things. Uh, so many people today feel lost. Life's like a story with no plot, no sense of direction, and you just kind of give your life your own meaning and purpose. It can be so easy, I think, in our lives to look at what we do as our identity or how we look. Uh, all those questions of, am I enough? Am I truly loved? It can really fuel what we think brings our life meaning. And sometimes it can be easy to feel not only empty, but also kind of bitter when you feel like I'm trying so hard. I know I felt this many times in my life growing up, especially is I felt like I was playing the game really well and I still felt like I hadn't achieved or arrived or made it. And I just remember feeling very frustrated and that doesn't leave you. There's so many times even in my adult life where you just kind of go, man, I'll be happy if and when. And even if it's small things, like I just need to, I'll be happy if and when like this project is done or um, if and when, you know, I land this opportunity or I know for us, you know, growing up, I hear, we hear a lot of people and even I know myself, it was like, I'll be happy if and when I find this perfect person that's going to be my everything. And I know for myself discovering that, that I'll be happy if and when, and especially if you're looking to find your everything in a person that is completely bankrupt and that is so unfulfilled. I remember a priest telling me that, you know, if you're looking for that person, they don't exist. And when you put that pressure on them, you're going to crush them under the weight of that and you are always going to be disappointed. And I remember I heard those words in my early 20s and I was like, are you reading my soul? Because I, I was like, oh my gosh, I couldn't articulate that. But this was, again, before I had met Swaff and I remember just thinking, he's right. But yet so many of my decisions, so many of things that I was doing and what I felt like I wanted to like achieve had everything to do, all that mental and emotional energy had so much to do with this person that was going to fulfill me. And it can be so easy to think we're going to find meaning in another person or meaning in what we do. And then all of a sudden we're bitter and frustrated. You play the happy, I'll be happy if and when game and what happens? We're never in the present. We're always, it's always, I'll be happy if and when at some point in the future and how much of our lives are spent and gosh, tragically even wasted by either being buried in the past, shame, regret, or just anticipation and anxiety about the future yeah. and never happy now. In the moment. And the yes. thing is, I mean, real meaning is received. Meaning that's self-made is no meaning at all. If it's only my manipulation, my own concoction, my own projects, my own efforts, and my own self-aggrandizement, yeah. we know deep down it's hollow. And we ask ourselves this question, what, what's it... What's it all about? Is, is this really all there is? You know, um, mm -hmm. a few years back, I, I got, uh, I, was, I was a good athlete, but I wasn't that good, so don't get carried away. But I was inducted <laughs> in my high school Hall of Fame. <laughs> don't get and away. we got to address the team, and uh, there's, there's me and a couple other guys got in, and the guy who spoke before me was about 15 years older than me, he was a coach, and he said to these high school players, Every one of us up here would trade places with you in a second if we could. You're at the best stage of your life. And I'm like, I'm about to contradict everything you say. <laughs> I just felt so bad. I'm like, are you really telling me that that's all there is? Yeah. That's the highlight of your life, that everything now from thenceforth is in the rear view mirror. And it just broke my heart. But I think how many of us live that way that I'll be happy if and when um, these pet projects or these status, these accolades are getting liked by this or that group, that's going to make me happy. That's going to give my life meaning. Right. And I just, I love that story because, you know, I'm a recovering perfectionist, firstborn people pleaser there's therapy later. You know, like I, I struggle so much with like having everything like bows tied and everything looks nice. My kids, they always say, is it, is it mom's clean or dad's clean when we're cleaning the house? I'm like, it's always mom's clean. But anyway, we, we just, I live in that. And I know that, you know, we've talked about this many times in our marriage and also just with a lot of people, young adults, adults, when you can start to see your life as a gift, and that everything that you have, everything that's coming your way, everything that you can do, your talents, your time, all of it is a gift from God. When you start to see it that way, and then all of a sudden understanding that the, the goal of your life is to give your life away as a gift, all of a sudden you are cast in that divine play. You have a role. It might not always be pretty and it might not always be like glamorous and act, actually most of the time it's not, but there's this divine role that you're gonna play and that it's a gift. And all of a sudden it's not about the hustle anymore. It's not about that striving for, you know, perfection in the world's eyes. All of a sudden it's about, I'm a gift, my life's a gift, and I want to give my life away as a gift. And do I have the grit to do that? Because it, it all sounds really great. You know, I'm going to, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm this divine player in this divine game, you know, like, like Nintendo or something. It's like, no, like all of a sudden it becomes, I have a role to play, 
but it's going to take something of me. And it's not what the world thinks is glamorous. So that's always hard. You know, it's the gritty, supernatural grit, the heroic grit of being selfless. I tell a lot of people, I think one of the most um, attractive things about a human being, whether it's a mentor or a friend or a significant other, is selflessness. And it's so dang hard because in a world where it's all about the game, all of a sudden for you to be little and to be last and to do the gritty behind the scenes, that is really hard. And so we're not saying this is easy, but this is just something that we've been seeing really help us when you start putting this into perspective. It changes everything. It, it totally does. I mean, we are social creatures. We long for validation. We long to be known, to be seen, to be loved, to be chosen. That's what we long for. We long to be seen and known by the one who's known us from all eternity, who's cast us in this play, who's given us a calling, a role, a part to play in the story that maybe won't be played unless we answer the call. Right. And the thing is, as we're talking about this, I mean, this is, it's so universal. It, it, it's always struck me that Junior high, <laughs> junior high, our, our favorite time in life, right? It's got a way of repeating itself at every stage in life unless we face these issues head on. We either do it then or at some point or they will still be with us to our dying breath. And we know that this is universal. Everyone struggles with this. So when we wrote our book, Gift and Grit, we decided that we were gonna take this head on. And it's not something that we wanna dance around anymore. I think everyone, we have to latch onto this idea because that true freedom and joy and peace that only comes from the Lord is found in this idea of gift and grit. So if you or someone you know is struggling with these ideas, which I don't know anyone that doesn't struggle with these ideas, leave some comments below, share this with someone, grab a copy of Gift and Grit. We talk about this at length because it's been a struggle for us and we know it's a struggle for many. But know that we're praying for you. You can do this, it's not easy, but it's worth it.